Thank you, Mrs. H. Stunning, aren't they? Beautiful. Very lucky. So, good morning to you. Wednesday, again, yet again. So, we're going to use uh, some nice products today. <clears throat> some quite high end products in the shave, uh, in my book, uh, for our midweek shave Wednesday. So, Edwin Jagger 316. Um, if you want a simple yet good quality high end razor, that would be your man or woman. Um, three piece non adjustable, named 316 after the stainless steel it's made of, 316 grade. Uh, so I'll leave that apart for a minute. Um, blade is going to be the Super Gillette Blue Blade, and we'll use a brand new one. So he says, oh, there you go, that over there. on the head so how are you doing all right hope your week's going well for you and your health and life in general but more importantly shaves of course lovely razor diamond knurling it is branded made in england on the bottom maybe not see that and uh, edwin or oh, jagger is it edwin jagger on the top bander if you can see that, uh, maybe. So slight overhang to be aware of. And that looks good to me. So that's that. Soap is going to be the fine, thick and easy, slick and protective L'Orange Noir. And then, <clears throat> fine accoutrement here. Made in the Netherlands. Oh yeah, lovely. Good stuff, good stuff. It's very citrusy. A zesty fresh scent and the brush this is a gift to me uh, a, a, among a few other things by Mike Finn if you remember I did a video using this look at that that's an Italian made brush made of high quality plateau briar wood um, all hand crafted everything beautiful thing it is marked on the bottom there uh, made in Italy. I don't know if that's the right way around. Yeah. Uh, Marvin, handmade in Italy, number 446. You can see that number. And that matches on this, you see, 446. Um, it's a 26 millimeter silver tip synthetic knot. And uh, Marco Finardi makes them in Italy. I'll put a link to their. Um, Website, I'll put it to the, there's a gallery there of all the brushes he's made. So unique, handmade, different. Um, worth a look if you like different brushes and look in different designs. I'll put a link to the gallery in the in the description. Have a look, it's worth it. Grab a coffee and have a wander. Um, so that's what we're going to use there. The soap is in the, I'm using the Mule uh, shave mug. I've bloomed it, so I'm going to use it as a pre-shave. And I think then we're ready to go, aren't we? Oh, here we go, here we go. Pavarotti's sister. Right, we'll wet the face and then I'll use the pre-shave, then we'll lather up. This is lovely. Don't need it all either. There we go. Need as much as we need. Ah, oh, it's a lovely scent this.
That's a good bit of it. And then that'll soften the top layer of the soap. Is he's got a hard puck? It would love it, just with a damp brush. But uh, it does help if you bloom it. I know some people say, oh no, you shouldn't bloom it. And I've said it myself, you shouldn't have to bloom it in order for it to work. But it does sort of help uh, speed up the lather process, I think. So um, we're going to wet the... What was that? Are you playing? It's only um, Mrs. H, isn't it? It's only Millie and Alice, so... <laughs> she can probably hear me, you see. So, that's what we look like. It fits just right in there. And uh, we'll start. Yeah, the, the blooming process gives you a pre-shave. And then it's um, sort of softens up the top layer of the puck and we can lather this on the face I think that's what we'll do so we'll just gather it and the tips there we can always go back so that's nice and tidy it's quite dry there and then we'll put a spot a spot of water in the brush Watch the magic happen a bit more. Despite this brush's unique shape, um, feels really nice in the hand. You seem to find a natural grip of it. Um, So he's a very gifted man, making brush handles like that. So as you can see, with minimal effort, we've uh, got a damn good ladder there. Yeah, so I hope the old shades are going well. Even wearing this, I wore this t-shirt for, I didn't think it'd fit me, it is a bit tight, but I'm wearing this for, look at this, I'm wearing this for a few, uh, well, months, if not a year. I put it in the drawer and I forgot about it. It is wearing away a bit now, but it's good enough for shaving. Um, when I class as a round-the-house uh, t-shirt, so that means it can be anything worn, collar, holes in it, all sorts of stuff. Don't throw things away till they fall off. Right, Edward, <laughs> 316 with the Gillette. This is the Blue Blade, Super Gillette Blue Blade, first use, brand new. Here we go, first pass. L'Orange Noir. And that feels lovely. Lovely aggression on this razor. It's a uh, standard, medium, nothing, but it's just right. Um, and it works for me with most blades. Obviously some work better than others, but it's never let me down. It's always felt nice. And it's mowed down. Whiskers, no problem. Lovely scented soap. So what better the way to start the week? Start the week? Shaving terms, yes, start the week because that means it's uh, it is my first shave of this week, isn't it? Sunday was the last.
Oh, and then I found them um, browsing on eBay one evening. Shouldn't do it, but what can you do? You, if it's in you, it's in you. <laughs> if you're a browser, you're a browser. And then um, lovely slickness. Wow, that is good. Especially for the first. So if you have the very slick soap, I can highly recommend that. But as I say, the pre-shave bit helps. Everything helps, doesn't it? Um, yeah, meandering through eBay, and I came across this original um, Old Spice shaving cream tube, and it came in. It comes in like a box, double box, because it comes with sixty grams free. So it must be a smaller tube comes with it. Uh, very inexpensive when I paid for it. I can't see Schulten on it, so I'm hoping it is, but they just haven't shown it in the... But uh, while I paid for it, I wouldn't mind if it wasn't Schulten. Um, I can just use that in shaves. But it's marked as... It looks an old box, sort of 70s. Maybe 80s, I don't know, but 70s. Um, it looks old for that era. And, uh, you know, for that amount of shaving cream, I don't mind. But if it's Shulton, I'll be very, very happy. So that means I got the original soap and the original cream then, you see. Across the growth, here we go. So far, superb. You can always feel, well I can, when you use a razor that's been really sort of engineered, made, cheap blade. Um, you can feel the quality in your shave, as silly as that may sound, you can feel it. She's on the landing plane or something. She knows you're there, you see. So instead of singing, she jumps about, runs and makes a noise like that. Yes, they know you're there, Millie. Gonna make a noise for them. Never does listen to me. That is lovely. Yeah, if you're watching Mike, Mike Finn, hope you're well, sir. And as you can see, I... <laughs> I don't use the, I wouldn't, I'd open the door, but she'd be up here, jump, boom, boom. And yeah, there's blades and things in here, so. Um, yeah, I don't use these often, but I use them, I look after them, I appreciate them. Part of my collection, and uh, the secret for me is to wash them, dry them, and then I polish this wood after the next day. Not with any products, just with a clean cloth. And then uh, once it's all perfect, back in the box, ready for next time. So I'm just going to, because I'm only gathering off the tip, I could wet this and make it into a lather, but it's not much of a gap here because that soap's not fitting right to the bottom so i'm just gathering on the brush and we're sort of making a lather on the face really bit of water not to the brush feels lovely nice soft synthetic but it's uh Excellent, as you can see, for creating a lather from a, a very hard putt. 
what's your shave of the day or shave uh, of the week whatever you shave maybe you shave once or twice a week yourself maybe on a different day here we go against the growth everything's looking good keeping clean and doing jagger 316 stainless steel razor Made in Britain. Made in England. And, uh, the Super Gillette Blue Blade, brand new. And I'd say it's a Pretty good way to start the midweek, eh? This is lovely. God, Bella. No, I didn't feel that. I'm there. Good grief. What's going on here? Getting too excited. Wow, it feels comfy. The slickness on the soap is amazing. As we're going to tell now, four. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. There should be enough in there. There should be enough in the brush. Uh, so you can see I've necked a couple of you overdoing it. But it feels really, really nice. Yeah. I'm more of an overdo it than an underdo it. Uh, here we go. See that? One of the most satisfying sounds in the world. If you love shaving. Wow. That's lovely. Just a touch. This is why there's necks. I have to go for that BBS. Lovely. Cold water rinse. Oh, 
this corner as well. Okay. Alrighty. Beautiful laminate, those colours. Oh. That is beautiful. All right. Oh, lovely. Right. Homemade tea tree and witch hazel. The same bottle that doesn't seem to be going down. That's that and rub that in a bit more. Put a good bit on then. That's that. And then we'll uh, we'll use the matching sort of fine um, classic aftershave l'orange noir, beautiful scent. Very nice. Slight tingle on the neck area, but otherwise, oh, smell that, come on, that's beautiful. That wakes you, lovely, refreshing, zesty, sort of zesty, cologne scent. So the sort of scent of um, citrus zestiness, but in a cologne way. Does that make sense? Sort of nice. And because of that, I'm going to use some lime. Bart's uh, Lime Oil Aftershave Balm. Um, I think they come in new bottles now. This is quite old now, but it's still as good. And there we go. Should give it a bit of a shake with oh, it. That's lovely. What a nice combo. And then you're ready to face the world. That is lovely. Very nice. Into the hands. Quickly. We'll recap. So we've used the, the Edwin Jagger 316 stainless steel uh, three piece non adjustable DE razor. Perfect in every way. Quality, ease of use. It's a medium aggression. The blades, uh, most blades I put in this work superbly for me with little growth, a good bit of growth. Uh, no problems at all so that's the razor we've used the fine l'orange noir hard puck there which i bloomed used as a pre-shave um lovely so very very slick easy to lather and um works well and then we've used this beautiful brush this is the uh marfin isn't it marfin the company and it's marco um Finardi, that's right, yeah. And this is this, uh, you've used here the highest quality Plateau Briar from Italy woods. As I say, check the check the website in the description just to see the pictures of the brushes he's made. So unique and different types of wood. Um, and that's that, a beautiful brush, 26 millimeter silver tip synthetic. So thank you, Mike, for that. <coughs> Excuse me, and then we've used Welsh water to rinse, homemade tea tree and witch hazel. I like Ken Dog, by June, <coughs> and then um, fine L'Orange Noir aftershave, and of course the Bart's aftershave balm lime oil. So we're on a citrus theme, which is good, I love it. And uh, that's it, leave you to it. So have a great rest of the week, safe, great shaves if you haven't any, stay safe. If you can stay happy, please do so. And then even better if you can make someone else happy or laugh. Very important. And I'll see you in the sun. Oh, see in. I won't see you in Sunday. I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. So all the best. Many thanks. And bye bye.